This is Frank Goss with SGTV. It might have been in the spring of 1897 when a lone rider made his way along the abandoned King's Highway from mission to mission in old California. To some of the missions he would have taken a steamship, to others the train, to several a buckboard. But some had been abandoned for almost a hundred years. No boat, no train, no wagon. He would have traveled by horseback with his supplies on a pack mule. By 1897, some of the mission buildings had been damaged or completely destroyed by the elements. Several of them were miles from the nearest road. Soledad, San Miguel, San Antonio had been abandoned and were used for other than ecclesiastical services or were largely forgotten by the time Deacon arrived. On arrival at each site, Deacon would have set up camp and proceeded to take out his sketch pad and the tools of his trade, paper, pencils, brushes, watercolors, and perhaps oils. His first effort would have been to draw a perspective. He would have continued to draw, eventually dropping the grid lines, which he would have used for proper perspective. He would then move from drawing to watercolor, again making sketches to test color values and composition. Although oils made in the field would have been very hard to transport, he might have tried his hand at a small oil sketch on board, such as this study, done in 1875, of the Santa Inez mission. Our current exhibition presents, for the first time ever, the results of this two-year effort by Deacon to make colors of each mission from San Diego in the south to Solana in the north. He started the project in 1897 and finished in 1899. In the south, he would have made his way to San Luis Rey, which is today inland from Oceanside, and eventually to the fallen San Juan Capistrano, painted largely as it appears today. In the Los Angeles region, he journeyed to Mission San Gabriel and over the Santa Monica Mountains to San Fernando Rey. Eventually into the central coast, he would have worked his way up to Ventura and eventually to Santa Barbara, where he had visited and painted several times starting in 1875. Climbing over the coastal range, perhaps passing Maddie's Tavern, Deacon visited the two missions that lie in the great plain of the Santa Inez Valley. Mission Santa Inez Virgin y Martir and Mission La Purísima Concepción de María Santísima. From Purísima, he traveled nearly 60 miles to San Luis Obispo. Deacon eventually works his way to the artist colony in Carmel and then inland to San Juan Bautista along the coast to Santa Cruz, then to the southern end of the San Francisco Bay and Santa Clara. Eventually to San Jose. Perhaps the mission closest to Deacon was Mission Dolores, where he painted his first mission painting in 1870. Just north of San Francisco was the hospital mission, San Rafael in the bright sunshine. Deacon had obviously planned a full publication of the watercolors. Perhaps, like his 1899 publication of his 21 oils of the missions. Come and enjoy our discovery of the lost watercolors of Edwin Deacon along the Camino Real.